McNeese and Lamar are on the court right now in Southland Conference semifinal matchup. It's a sold out crowd at the Legacy Center as McNeese and the Lake Area are gaining national attention. KPLC's Rhonda Kitchens has more on the impact the tournament is having on Southwest Louisiana. When we negotiated um, to bring the tournament here, the biggest thing I wanted to do was help Southwest Louisiana. McNeese Athletics Director Heath Schroyer says that was right after Hurricane Laura. And there's still blue tarps on roofs. There's still businesses that need, need help. There's so many people that left and didn't come back. And then this happened. Coach Will Wade turned around the McNeese basketball program, putting the Lake Area in the national spotlight. Everybody's kind of back involved and fired up about McNeese, and having the conference tournament here is an opportunity to bring a lot of people in from around Louisiana and Texas to come see uh, Lake Charles and experience kind of what we have to offer here. I'm really excited. Um, this is the first time I've come to the Southland Conference tournament. Uh, my girlfriend plays basketball for UIW, so I'm hoping that they play well and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Teams and their fans filling Lake Area hotels. Yeah, we're staying at the Golden Nugget. My mom and I went and gambled yesterday. Restaurants <laughs> cashing in. Thank you. We choose a different one every day. Try something new. Bringing a boost to Southwest Louisiana's economy. I think we spent like 100 bucks each gambling and then probably eating. We probably we went out with some friends, so we spent about another 100 200 dollars so far. Being able to host our tournament, having ESPN, linear ESPN, you know, filming here for two straight days, um, you just can't put a price on that. And I am more than excited uh, about where we're at. And where we're going. This is just the beginning. I think that we're going to do even bigger and greater things as we move forward. And, uh, and it's really, really exciting to be a part of it. In Lake Charles, Rhonda Kitchens, 7 News. The tournament continues through Thursday. We'll have more on tonight's action, of course, a little later in sports.